Alright, so Montreal Improv for Harold Knight. Please welcome to the stage our host, Jamie Mitzivier. Oh, one shot. 
built, the three for one deal, and they're all tattooed and toothless. Is it bald? Well, we have, if you order three, you get two that are bald and one that isn't bald. <laughs> It's 
so terribly spring all the time. I need a little bit more excitement in my life. Uh, oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. It'll be fine. So what do you do when you're not doing disinfectants? I'm sorry, just can't leave those there. Oh. Those, don't go there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're an MW.42. <laughs> okay, yeah. Why would you put them on the MW.41? <laughs> 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 because they canceled my axe throwing class tonight, and I need to live a little. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Our shared library is not a place for you to live a little. We're trying to have a system of organization. <laughs> You need to go live a little. I mean, I love spending time with you too, but I thought we were going to be doing some organizing tonight, not like blowing off steam with the Dewey Decimalizing because you didn't get a chance to do your axe throwing. I love being roommates with you, but you need to communicate a bit better because we try to keep the system intact. Or this, this is not going to work out. I just keep imagining in my way, in my head, all the different ways I could jiu jitsu you to the ground. Uh. <laughs> okay, you thought the tendencies are kind of what. I was talking about when I said that I think that you need to like come up with another activity along with the axe throwing. Don't put that. <laughs> Just hold it. Okay. Oh yeah. That was my like copy of Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> now it's two copies of Pride and Prejudice. Oh, I feel so much better now.
really happy, you've been performing well, especially for an ex-convict. Um, you know, we're concerned about uh, really just kind of entering people's houses and <laughs> requesting that they participate in the penis mold service. Yes. It's a million dollar idea. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea, but we, we advertise, you know, we put flyers out and flyer people's cars, Look, just cover the neighborhood. I've been complimented endlessly for my sass and my panache. <laughs> Most of my jobs, I can give you a long list of references on that store. I made you a million dollars with my peaceful glass idea. A million, a million dollars? Literally one million. It's a lot of dollars. You're the CEO, that's correct? CFO. So I really should know what's going on here. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. I think we should make them for men. Aren't they already? <laughs> no, I think, like, man size. Okay. <laughs> we have shot glasses. I think we could have beer steins. I think we could have some oh, I, I think yeah, these yeah. molds could go viral. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chances. 
Our tools! Oh, you mean all our circular saws? Yeah. <laughs> no way, man. I've been in this game like 20, 25 years. Never happened. Worked on every hill uh, in this city. I okay, know I'm good you, to go. <laughs> really happy for, for this job, but to take this tire. Look, is this, this is supposed to be, this is really weird. This is supposed to be like, <clears throat> like one of those things to stop floods from happening. A dike? Yeah, yeah. But but we're at the top of the hill. Well, that's how I have the giant round tunnel boring machine. We just made of steel teeth. Oh shit. Okay. That's beautiful, right? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I've never seen one of these before. What am I supposed to do? Okay, your resume was so long. <laughs> You've never seen a tunnel boring machine? Not a tunnel boring machine. No. <laughs> well, here you go. I've also never built a dike at the top of the hill. I've also <laughs> never worked right next to where a bunch of children playing. I don't, I don't this is the Netherlands. The middle of the country is lower than sea level, level, so the sides are above sea level. We have to build the dikes on top, okay, right. and we're happy people, so right. we have children playing everywhere. <laughs> what do you expect? I bet, as they know, and they know to look out of it. If anything happens, they'll just dive out of the way in some perfect kind of Viking, uh, you know, military maneuver, because it's in their blood, and they'll just the avoid Vikings. all death. <laughs> Vikings? Yeah, Vikings. Resume said you were Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> we're all the same. We all come from the same stinky white blood from up there in the northern <laughs> hemisphere. <laughs> that soap? It's, it's construction. You keep digging that hole. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather just bore a tunnel and, and get paid to go home. Well, that's what we started doing. Right. And then you had all these problems with the kids and. Supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Chicago O'Hare Airport. I'm um, sorry to say that we're having a little bit of a delay. Don't worry about anything, folks. Everything's going to be fine. So just keep calm and uh, don't panic. Thank you very much. Don't panic. Oh my god. Fine. He has a life. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> What's going on with the flight? Why is it delayed? <laughs> Sir, please keep your voice down. Thank you very much. This is my normal speaking voice. <laughs> you want me to raise my voice? I'm very sorry to offend. Please do not post about it on Twitter. Thank you very much. <laughs> I sh so? What's going to change? You gotta, you gotta give me something, right? I can't be stuck here. I, I, gotta, I, gotta, get, I gotta get to Chicago. Sir, just take your seat. FAA regulations make sure that you will be <laughs> seated throughout the flight, and during the delay, you will have a complimentary beverage and three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, in the meantime, can I just get you some headphones? Some headphones for a nice, cool, relaxing stay? Cool? Relaxing stay? Back up, back up, back up a bit, back up. Beverage, the beverage we were talking about. Was yes. Alcohol. For three dollars extra, we can... Accommodation. You're going to charge me after you're already delaying this, and you're going to charge me $3 for alcohol? It better not be one of those shitty little Sir, bottles. I'm seeing now that you're taking up a little bit more space on that seat than I thought we were going to take, mm. you were going to take up, so we're going to have to charge you for an extra seat. So oh my goodness, you're bringing my weight into this after all this? stay calm. Stay calm. Thank I you told you this is my regular voice! <laughs> <laughs> What's with all the prejudice stuff? I'm sorry, sir. We have a decibel level tolerance here. You're me me the meeting a maximum. We're gonna have to charge you a little bit extra for that. <laughs> no! No! I can't take this anymore. No! You didn't charge me for the drinks. I. You didn't charge me for the headphones, though, right? Those are mine, right? Well, sir. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I'll be passing by with the ATM machine shortly. <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby, I've been picking up on all the hints lately. Oh. Uh, um, so I brought home. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is where you live, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, I brought I brought home. Honey, I, I'm curious what hits you're talking about. You said you want to spice things up a little bit? I don't know. Welcome to Scary Spice. I got Scary Spice. Yeah. Sorry to be rude. I'm, I'm, I'm Elizabeth. That's okay. Welcome to our home. Elizabeth is rude. <laughs> right? Do you have a bathroom? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to be a Scary spice. Scary spice. Show a little respect. I'm not really scary spice. <laughs> <laughs> well, to the right. Cool. Well, I'm Elizabeth. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Elizabeth. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
know I always threatened to do that, but I killed somebody just now. I'm actually it. capable of doing it. Just like I learned that in the Netherlands. <laughs> we're still in the Netherlands. We're just lower down. If there's blood, if that dike breaks. Oh, or just lower I down. I hope you did a good job building. If I heard your son came to visit, I heard down the hole. <laughs> and I heard back from university. Woo! Thank you for calling our Canada customer service. My name is Gavin. How can I help you? Elmer. Elmer. 
Go buy ginger spice. Tell them we're leaving. Woo! Yeah, exactly. And what is this supposed to be, Rick? Uh, <laughs> Who's ginger? How about you could go on a tandem bike? <laughs> special, special service that we provide is called the reunion tour. Mm. The others should be showing up at any moment. You guys are going to go to the bathroom real quick. Wait, no, I'm <laughs> cool, I'm going to go check out your upstairs bathroom. <laughs> is there an ensuite? You got an ensuite up there? I'm running out of towels. <laughs> Let's well, get an ensuite. Just get, get in that jacuzzi. You know what? I'm sorry, we only have the one bathroom. It's okay. Figure something out. Can you take them off for baby size? Oh, hey. there she is. Woo. I'm really excited for this ride. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I'm Sporty Spice! Oh, I should have guessed. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you have a freezer? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a powder room? Uh, just the one bathroom. But, oh, you know what? We're just sad. You can go, you can use that. Been a while. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Papa Spice! <laughs> Where's my kids? It's a new one. How are they doing? It's my dad. Where are they? None of them are home. What are you, what are you doing here? You are making money under my nose? You piece of Hey, you money you make, you gotta give me a taste. I'm a pop spice. Is it going to be cool? Or? What a mess, guys. Oh, you got some great buckets. Are we going to do this thing?
serious about it. So you're vacation. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did I just take? I, I don't know. Take it. Maybe we'll go on a vacation after all. Staycation. Yeah. Staycation. Do some drugs in that fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fucking hang out here. All oh, right. <laughs> hey. Cheers. Cheers. I think this is actual spice, though. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>